Hello. We're going to read for Taurus Capricorn connection here. You know how we do this. Taurus, I'll put you up here with the past, present, and future energy. Capricorn, right here, please. Past, present, and future energy. However, if you are more connected to one side than the other, please do flip those energies. Okal doko. Let's begin. Taurus Capricorn. I see this was requested by Melissa Jones, Catch Katamarie, Carolyn Martin, Yaudza 12, Mel Roberts, Beautiful Saunders, Divine Goddess, Janelle, Jennifer, Yoshimura, and Latina One Fleba, Christina. Okay, here we go. If you don't see your connection well represented here, just leave a chorus and whatever connection you want in the comments and I'll do my best to get right to it. I have a few appointments left open for personal readings um, later in the day, like three, four, five, six, seven, eight o'clock at night. So let me know if, if you like a personal reading. We have a special offer, an introductory price, so check it out if you like. It's just me, Taurus Capricorn. What's going on? Taurus Capricorn. Taurus Capricorn. Okay, got you. Taurus Capricorn. Um, thank you. Taurus, what is going on? In the past, you were about the Three of Pentacles. Teamwork, trying to be um, united, putting up a united front. Okay, Capricorn, Five of Pentacles, but in reverse. I don't have regrets. I did the best I could, and I stand firm with that. The current energy for Taurus is Ace of Wands. Divine spark from the universe. Capricorn, you're like, now I need some justice. I, I demand justice. I demand fair treatment, equality. We're going to have clarifications for sure. In the future, you're going to um, be searching for that nine of cups. You do have the eight of cups, and you're looking for your heart's content. And um, Capricorn, you are no longer feeling left out. You are no longer thinking that other things are going on without you. It's not true. You are all that and a bag of chips, Capricorn. The energy that is informing this read is the Nine of Wands. The Wounded Warrior pose. Someone has been, I'm oh, sorry. Someone has been resiliently holding on. But to what end? What's going on here? Soul evolution. Capricorn, what is it that makes you sometimes feel left out of situations? What makes you... Let's do go into that a little bit. Taurus, Capricorn, come through. When Taurus in the past was about the three of... Uh, pentacles, they realized their power. They knew their power and their ability to shine a light on things that were not um, fairly demonstrated. So with or without, um, I want to say, uh, without genuine <laughs> attention, um, Okay, what I'm getting from the, you ever have to move, and then you ask someone, can you help me move? And they're like, oh, yeah, sure. But they, they don't answer the phone when you're asking for them. It's like, oh, I need your help moving. That's the kind of feeling I get here. Like, um, you people would give you lip service, but they really weren't someone you could ha you could count on. So you made it so you could, you could count on yourself. Yeah. Don't try to do that to the Empress. You'll get burned. So Virgo, I'm oh, sorry, Capricorn, what is this? Capricious energy. Not feeling any more regrets. It's You did go through quite a few um, startling, uh, sometimes not very um, 
just like, like he's jack in the box, but out pops a scary clown. Um, life had given you some very uh, trying times, Capricorn. Some very, um, if, 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 it, if not for your great resolve, someone would have just said, forget it, let's, let's go on to the next chapter. But you stuck through it. Um, how? Very almost, um, I see, either you're involved with legals, litigiousness, this um, documents, you were able to um, support yourself. And I want to even say protect yourself with certain documents. The truth will set you free. Okay. I think maybe there was a bit of time where um, you were you were to get a fair share of something, either through like an inheritance, you know, something like that, something that was either bequeathed to you or promised to you, like just hang in there with us and this is supposed to come to you, but it didn't. You did the best that you could. You're a very, um, what your word is your bond. I hear you saying that often. And now it's time to step into this. It's time to have um, fairness. Justice, this Libra as energy. But let's go back to Taurus in just a moment here. Ace of Wands. Yes, there is a time that you get this Eureka moment. It's like, um, what is it that's important to me? Yeah, a foundation, a foundation of of love, of su sustainability. I don't ever want to be without knowing where our family is going to lay their heads. Um, judgment and communication interesting it's a, i i almost feel like someone here has has made um has made their life um uh, enriched by their words they know that i i feel like this person's almost like a poet a wordsmith they're able to move people through their words um, this is divine inspiration. So either um, this person is someone who's um, an educator or a life coach, a mentor, or has always wanted or seen that they could do something like this. Um, quite frankly, you're able to command the attention of, of any room. Yeah, you have a lot to say that can help many people. And part of it has to do with having the Empress energy. You do have a commanding presence. Of course, these are generalized readings, but the energy I'm, I'm feeling here is um, all eyes on Taurus. Now, Capricorn, having gone through some kind of um, not nice surprises, yeah, here's your Hierophant. That's our connection. You do see Taurus as part of the solution. No more in the shoulda, woulda, couldas. And then we have your energy, but in reverse. I see uh, it's almost as if Taurus and you um, were able to recreate or um, rebirth um, some aspect of your personality. And it's not like it wasn't working. It's just... Um, you are, you're very, um, you have this power, um, Capricorn, of, um, you don't even need a spotlight. So when you're with Taurus, it's, it's like the super couple. You, you two enter the room and it's almost like people stop breathing. It's like, wow, look at that couple. That's a power couple. The two of you together can do anything when you put your minds to it. But I just want to reiterate, things have not been fair for you, Capricorn, and you've gone through quite a bit. Thank goodness that you can rely on Taurus, and you do see them as a great helper agent. Taurus, in the future, you're going to be the Eight of Cups energy, walking away from things that did not work, Perhaps you're, you're thinking of creating um, 
writing a book or creating um, something. Yeah, this is the something from the universe, like a, a strike, a, like a some kind of intellectual windfall. This is just demonstrates your strength, Taurus. It's going to take strength to walk away what from what you've always known, but you're walking towards something that is going to elevate you. And actually, Capricorn as well. Let's see, um, you know, we have the energy of the wounded warrior. So long standing of, um, I'm not afraid to wait. We do have the five of pentacles in reverse. Let's clarify. So the Cancerian energy of the chariot, death and rebirth and the tower event right underneath a Capricorn in reverse. Okay. You guys are gonna let that burden down. It's almost like earlier I wanted to say someone was going to almost appear reborn here, almost as if they are reinventing themselves. Um, I do feel like, especially with that sub, uh, Seven of Cups, Capricorn, uh, someone was maligning your name, um, making uh, almost like gossip, making gossip about you. Really not fair because you didn't deserve any of that. Not at all. But thank goodness, especially with Taurus, you both have each other to lean on. This tower event is going to be extraordinary. It's it's almost like the camel, you know, the, the straw that broke the camel's back, especially when I see the Ten of Wands in reverse. You see, sometimes the, ne the negative things that happen in our life propel us to something beautiful, very much in the, the Six of Swords, going from the chaotic into the sublime. But we wouldn't make that travel. We wouldn't travel and have that impetus to travel unless something ended and something we saw something beautiful beginning. Getting um, taming that devil, that Capricorn energy of, um, am I good enough? Can I can I escape my past? Hmm. Capricorn, um, Medea has a great saying. She said, it's not what they call you, it's what you answer to. So this, this was a very intense and interesting connection reading, um, but I'm just happy that the two of you have each other to um, bounce things back and forth, to lean on each other. Yeah, that support is worth its weight in gold. The best attributes are, are here right now. Beautiful. But also the challenges are present represented as well. So challenges are to be overcome together. All right, Taurus Capricorn, this was intense. I hope you're okay. Please take care of yourself and be kind to each other. Okay, bye-bye.